What's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Apex Vision TV. Today, uh, the rest of the wheel came in, the wheel base. So, of course, you know I'm excited and we're going to go ahead and open it up right now. I'm really happy because it wasn't supposed to come until between the 24th and the 29th. So, I'm happy to see it. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. within the Thrustmaster family, T300 servo base. Um, the reason I went with this is because the Fanatic stuff just caught too much right now and uh, trying to build the car as well as you guys know. So this was the best option. I really wanted to like get the uh, TSPC racer. They don't make a version of that for the PlayStation. And um, yeah, unfortunately. So this is what I ended up going with. Other options was the, the TGT, which cost too much. I don't really like the wheel. So this is what I ended up going with. Of course, I'm extremely excited. Not sure what I'm gonna do with my T150. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get something the same wheel like that, but for Xbox and hop on Forza Horizon in my more serious games, I'll, I'll use the T300 base for. This is just a servo, so no wheels, no pedals. And uh, pay 252 bucks for this off of Amazon. So, new upgrade. Let's go ahead and get this joint opened up. Definitely bigger than my base. It's PS3 and PS4 compatible. That's how it looks. Got my Ferrari wheel. Funny because I almost bought the T300 with the Alcantara base out the gate. But, um, it was it was like four hundred sixty nine dollars, and at the time, I wasn't one hundred percent sure if I would like it. Should have known better, but it's part of the journey, learning which ones you want and upgrading and trying different stuff. So, yep, I got my Ferrari wheel, I got my T three hundred base, I got my T three PA Pro pedals. So, um, review will be coming here real soon. I'm gonna go ahead and drive this. Compared to that, the T150, do some laughs and really get a first reaction and comparison video for you guys.
I'm not sure how that video is gonna come out, but um, I didn't want to try to like fake fake the uh, first reaction right away though. That shit is it's definitely stronger the force feedback. Um, I like I like I had one hand on the wheel at one point. And I'm like, yo, I don't. It's stronger, so you can definitely tell the difference. You can feel it, even feel it in your chest a little bit. But um, definitely looking forward to getting much faster with that. The next step from here is a, uh, an actual cockpit. So yeah, stay tuned for that for sure. But yeah, like I said, uh, we're gonna have to do some more laps with some more cars on more than one just just this game. But you get one's a Seto Corsa. But man, right. I'm happy right away. I can tell the difference. I was laughing because the uh, the pedals were backwards, and I was trying to figure out what was wrong. I unhooked it a couple of times, but just there's that mode light that you just have to hold it, and it will switch from regular pedal to inverted. And yeah, man. So definitely. And again, I'm still looking for somebody to race with. I'll probably sell that T150 wheel since I mean it's it's better in every way. I can notice in like corners well mid mid corners where you have to like hold the wheel at a certain speed it's a whole lot quieter as well so right right away it's stronger it's quieter uh it looks a whole lot better so of course i'm happy um again i don't blame anybody if they want to get the t150 though absolutely love that wheel um it, it, it pushed me further into it so have no, no nothing bad to say about it besides the noise um yeah, so stay tuned and again add me on PS4 Bob J 2042. Um, this is David with Apex Vision signing out.